Hey guys, Elpocker77 here and as I promised last week, today will be my top 11 informed silvers of FIFA 12. The normal silver video last week went down really well, so I'm going to do this one pretty much the same way, leaving out gameplay for defenders and instead adding more gameplay for the midfielders and attackers so the video doesn't end up going on for too long. So before I start, the players in this video are in my silver team of the year. Uh, just the players that I personally enjoyed using the most this year, or have been the best for me this year. Like I said in the normal silvers video, this is entirely my own opinion, and a lot of you will probably prefer different players, so feel free to tell me who you would have in your informed team this season in the comments section, but don't like the odds person on the comments of the other video. Ask where a certain player is and why I haven't picked him. That's because it's my team of the year and not yours. So we'll get straight into it, and like the other video, I'll talk about the player for a bit and then show you where he fits into the team and with the midfielders and attackers show you some gameplay. So first up is the goalkeeper and it was a really tough decision between the likes of Inform Forster and it would have been easy to, to include Inform Mignolet because of his amazing stats but I went with Inform Leno. He previously had an upgraded card also to 74 so that's why stats are so high, 79 diving, 84 reflexes, 80 kicking are his best sort of stats there. And a lot of people have said he's been a bit dodgy, but he's been really, really solid for me in my Bundesliga silvers. So he fits in there, he plays for Bayer Leverkusen, he's German, obviously like I said, Bundesliga. And all round, he's just a really, really solid keeper and doesn't cost too much either. I think you can get him now for about 20, 30k. That's sort of estimated as I got him for about 40k when he was out, so I assume he's gone down. So he'll fit nicely there in the goalkeeper spot and he's the first player for my inform team of the season. So next player to add to the squad should really be a right back but I'm going to go with another centre back because to be honest I didn't find any inform right backs this year that I've really enjoyed using or found were worth the coins. So instead we'll just go for another centre back and this one will be team of the season Hubican plays for Zenit in the Russian League and he is just an all round beast of a centre back. 76 pace there, he's not too slow. 80 defence, 80 heading. He's also got decent shooting and I think decent passing as well, 68 passing, because he is normal card is a left back. So he's just an all round, really, really good centre back. I use him my Russian League silvers and he's just a tank there. Sometimes change him to centre defensive mid and he works really well at centre defensive mid as well. So he will go into the team and so go in the right back spot. But that's just because I haven't found any right backs that I actually enjoyed using this year. So for the first centre-back spot now, we're going to go with Inform Donk. He plays in the Pro League, he's Dutch, and you should know him. His normal card is a beast and just missed out on my other video. But I knew I was definitely going to include this Inform Donk in the Inform version as he's an absolute tank. Someone may comment again like I did last video saying, oh, you've only chosen your centre-backs because they're really fast, they're pacey. Well, if Donk only had like 60 pace, he'd still be in there because he's an absolutely amazing centre-back. He's even got 70 passing there, 70 dribbling, but 83 defence, 82 heading. He is fairly expensive, but he's so pacey, wins so many headers, and he is probably one of the best silver centre-backs that have ever been on FIFA. He's absolutely amazing, and that's why he makes it into the team. Although he's really expensive, if you get the coins, he's well worth trying out sometime this year before the next game because he's an absolutely amazing centre-back. So the next centre-back spot will be taken by Inform Mulgrew and I really couldn't leave him out with those stats. 74 pace, 79 shooting, 82 passing, 83 defence and 76 heading. They're just crazy stats for a centre-back. I mean, you could play in midfield and you probably have probably the best stats for a centre-defensive mid on the game. You can play him striker and the 74 pace, 79 shooting, that's good enough for a striker. I think it's better than like Inform Samaras. So he's just... Absolutely amazing centre backs, really tall, wins loads of headers, but there's also his free kicks, his shooting, there's his passing. He does have crazy, crazy shooting stats, and that's why I had to put him in the team. He's just an all round amazing centre back, and I think nowadays you can get him for about 40k, and 40k for Inform Mulgrew is an absolute bargain. So if you haven't tried him yet, go and try him, as he's an amazing centre back. So now for the left back spot, uh, there were a few people I could have chosen or a few people I chose from, but I eventually went decided to go with team of the season Alaba. He's Austrian, left back, plays for Bayern Munich. His normal version or his normal card was a centre mid, but if you saw him in the Champions League, he did play as left back and he wasn't too bad either. And he makes it into this team of the year because his pace is amazing, he's got amazing dribbling, his passing is so good, 
He wins it back and plays really, really nice through balls or passes up to the left mid in my Bundesliga silver team. And all round, he's just a great left back. I reckon he'd also be amazing as a left mid, amazing as a centre attacking mid. He's a bit like Mole, where you could probably play in different positions out of his normal position and he would be great as normal version is a centre mid and that scores long shots for fun. Haven't tried many long shots with him, but I imagine they'd be pretty decent with the 65 shooting. So... He does cost a bit, about sort of 70 80k, as he's pretty rare. He's got the blue card, as you'll see, but he's just a great left back. And if you haven't tried him, try him out and stick him at left back in your silver team. So now head to the midfield, and the first sentiment spot will be taken up by Inform Rasmus Elm. 67 pace, 80 shooting, 78 passing. Centre forward dribbling, not the best defensively, but in game he feels absolutely amazing as centre defence mid or centre mid. I actually got this guy for 4k on the 59 minute mark and I've had him ever since then. This is absolutely ages ago near the start of Ultimate Team and I've kept him ever since. He's a really, really amazing centre mid. He's been upgraded since then, he's had a team of the season card. He's transferred to CSK Moscow. But I've stuck with the silver card as I only use silvers. And I don't have much gameplay for him, I don't think, but I do have this free kick I scored. And he's got amazing free kicks, a really nice free kick I scored with him. Nice powered one, straight in the top corner. Amazing free kicks, amazing long shots. He scored so many long shots for me. Didn't have any, couldn't find any that I had recorded. But the 80 shooting, it feels amazing and he will take the, up the first centre mid spot. So the next centre mid will be Inform Bakai Traore. He plays for AS Nancy, he's from Mali, and that's the French League one. He's since transferred and got an upgraded card exactly the same as this one for AC Milan. So he is a great, great player. He must be a decent player in real life, he's transferred to Milan. But he fits into this team because he's an absolutely amazing shooting. He's really solid. I actually use him as a striker, but I assume he'd be amazing at centre mid with his pace. He's got great passing, great heading. And there should be some gameplay here now. And it's basically just long shots, really. He's great at long shots. He's fairly good at finesse shots. He's really strong. He's also got just enough pace to take it around the defence. And he's also really cheap as well. I think I paid about 30k for him. But since then, he's gone down sort of about 20k. So he's all around a really, really great player. And he's quite cheap too. As I said, he's got an upgraded card to AC Milan. So if you fancy trying him out in a Serie A silver team. You can fit him into a team nicely and you can stick him into that team and he'll play really, really well there as a centre mid or centre defence mid. Or if you're feeling adventurous like me, play him as a striker and he'll do really, really well for you there. So if you haven't seen the review video I did on him a while ago, you can go and search for that. But in this video, he will go straight there as the central centre mid and move on to the next one. So last of the centre mids will be Inform Rayner, who I only tried out last week and he was that good that he made it into this team. He's the Colombian centre mid or midfielder that plays for Seongnam Ilwa. I'd usually play him further up the pitch and I actually played him as a striker, but I assume he'd be decent centre mid, decent centre attacking mid, probably centre forward as well. And he makes it into this team because you would have seen in the review video I did earlier this week, he has absolutely amazing shooting and I don't know how, how much he's gone down to now. I got mine for about 38k. I assume he's gone down to maybe 30k, maybe 40k. I haven't really checked, but I got mine fairly cheap, I'm guessing. But he just has amazing, fairly, it was fairly good finesse shots. They're a bit off at times, but it's, it's power shots that really helps him get a, space, a spot in this team this season. If you want to learn or see or find out more about him, then go and check out my review video. As I said, I've done earlier this week. I'm guessing most of you would have seen that, but a few of you may not have done, as this video will hopefully get a few more views than that one. But just did long shots, as you'll see here. They're absolutely amazing, and I haven't seen those sort of long shots on an inform in a while, especially one that only costs about 40k. You don't usually find that in a player. So, as I said, really, really good sentiment, and he'll fit into your teams nicely because he's Colombian. There's plenty of Colombian players, or you could also put him into a K-League team. And overall, he's just an amazing player, and that's why he get, takes the last sentiment spot. So for the centre forward spot now, it was really, really tough to try and try not to include this player into the team, but I had to really inform Mike on the 80. 91 pace, 80 shooting, 71 passing and 84 dribbling and that comes with his price tag as well of over a mil as he's incredibly, incredibly rare. Normal version of course is a right wing but this one is a centre forward or a striker, wherever you want to play him. I guess he'd play well as centre forward but he's centre forward in this team anyway. I used him as a striker but even though I hate him, I hate his stupid hair like El Shirawi, 
he is an amazing player in game. He's probably got the best finesse shots I've used this year. They go around the keeper from basically anywhere. You see by the gameplay, I've taken it from my review of him. And I've scored some amazing goals with him. He's such a fun player to use. He's really expensive, so not a lot of you will be able to use him. But I suppose you could probably try the normal version as a striker or something, and you probably wouldn't really notice the difference. But his shooting is just amazing. His pace, he's got ridiculous pace. He's got ridiculous finesse shots. He's really good at, he's got five star skills of course, and I like the five star skillers, I can do a bit of skill. So he's really, really decent player and that's why he fits into the team. Although he's really expensive and I hate him, he still fits in there because of his amazing stats. So now I head for the first striker spot and I decided to go with the second in Fongordetti. He is the Swedish striker, plays for Feyenoord. He is on loan from Man City, I think there's a transferred version to Man City which is a non shiny and exactly the same as the first in form but this is the second in form with a 79 pace 81 shooting 72 dribbling and 79 heading and he's an absolute tank of a striker he's all round really he's very strong he's got just enough pace to get away from defense he's got an amazing shot really really good finesse shots and I'd probably say he's the best silver striker in the Eredivisie You'd have seen maybe from my squad versus squad videos, he helped the Eredivisie squad come second in goal difference. And I also reviewed him, so if you haven't, if you want to check him out, you can go and check out that video by searching Inform Gu second Inform Guidetti review, something like that, and you'll find it. But all round, he's an amazing striker. I don't really know how much he goes for anymore. I think I got mine for about 40k. Probably be around that still, as he's a really, really great striker. If you haven't tried him, go and try him out. Uh, so that sort of price, he's amazing, really good at headers, as I said, all-round striker. So yeah, that really is why he fits into my Inform Team of the Year. So here we go, the last spot, the second striker for the team, goes to the Inform Pookie. He's a fin striker from Finland, plays for FC Schalke in the German Bundesliga. And you see there, 78 pace, 82 shooting, 78 dribbling and 70 heading. The shooting though, that's all you need to know. I reviewed him quite a while ago you can go and check out that video if you want and really he has just got one of the best shots in this game not everyone agrees and some people say he's pretty horrible and he does cost a lot he's about 150k still maybe even 200k last time I looked there was one for 149k by it now but I think that's sold pretty fast but he's just got amazing amazing shooting his long shots are just absolutely ridiculous we'll score them from anywhere his volleys are also he's probably got the best volleys I've actually used in a player don't usually notice the players volleying but he sort of half volleys first time volleys they went in pretty much every single time and his in-game stats are ridiculously good so if you have the coins he's one player that you have to try out before the next game as trust me he is an absolutely amazing player if you don't mind the slightly str slower strikers then he'll be right up your street and he's an amazing amazing player so yeah guys this is my Inform Silver Team of the Year we'll do a quick recap so there's there's Inform Leno in goal uh, right back I couldn't choose a right back so I went with Team of the Season Hubercan Two centre backs are Inform Mulgrew and Inform Donk. The left back is Team of the Season Alaba. For the midfield, we've got Inform Rayner, Inform Bakai Traore, and Inform Elm. The centre forward spot goes to Inform Mycon Liete. And the two striker spots are filled by Inform Pookie and Inform, or second Inform Guidetti. Hopefully, the commentary doesn't get too boring as this video is going to be quite a long video. And to be honest, I kind of forgot what to talk about with a few of these players. I haven't used them in so long as I'm constantly making new teams to try out new informs but throughout this year's FIFA these are my top 11 informs stuck into a team there I went with the 4-3-1-2 formation as I didn't end up picking any wingers I could have gone with a different formation and put in the likes of inform Templeton and inform Dyer players like that but I thought these players deserved to be in the team a lot more than them so yeah guys I hope you enjoyed this video and I really enjoyed making these two longer episodes or longer videos as I feel it's a really great way to sort of finish off FIFA 12. I'll carry on doing review videos and that sort of thing and then when the FIFA 13 demo comes out I'll do I'll use some gameplay from that for videos and probably just talk about FIFA 13 Ultimate Team some more and hopefully give you guys more hints and tips as well as let you know or help me decide on the videos I should focus on in the coming year. So thanks for watching guys and if you watched it to this point please feel free to give it a like as it really does help and it did take a hell of a lot of time to edit this 
as it will probably end up being like 15 minutes like the last one when it's done anyway guys thanks for watching cheers